guys. This is Junior and Flicker. Peace. It's chemistry me. Um, so we're going to be making, well, we're going to be doing some chemistry. Just some simple stuff, baking soda, citric acid, you know. Nothing too special. Nothing, yeah, nothing too special. Just standard reaction. Um, if you want to do this, like, if you want to do what I'm doing, um, all you need is some citric acid, a cup, a one 250-milliliter beaker, one 200-milliliter beaker. This is um, baking soda solution, baking soda liquid, a bottle, just another little bottle. If you want, this is only if you want to do exactly what I do. A stopper, a pipette, and a tamp and a small tamping rod. So let's get to it first. I'm gonna take this and actually, to be honest, we don't even need that. However, I'm going to lock the drain because I do want to take the byproducts of this so I can use it for later experiments. We're gonna take out the bin. We've got this. Can you guys see that? Well, yeah, you can. Okay, good. So we've got this. That's the baking soda solution. So that's just baking soda plus water that's stirred around. Okay. Um, all of these bottles, all of the 250 milliliter beaker, this, this bottle with the stopper and the pipette, you're going to set off to the side. You're going to take the cup and the citric acid. You're going to open the container of citric acid or whatever like thing you're using and you are going to simply see got some citric acid in there um you are just going to gently or wait no you guys that's probably a bad angle for you put in some citric acid okay that's a little much i'm not going to use all of that then you're going to put the citric acid on the side, and now you have this. If you want to, you can add water to this and stir it around so it's a liquid plus liquid. Personally, I don't want to do that. So we're just going to do it straight off. I am going to check something off. Okay. All right. Then. Yeah, screw it. So yeah, that's it. Um, you know what? We'll add more. Yeah. There it is. Then, put some more on. And that's all I'm going to do. But yeah. So, um, that's the reaction. Not too special, just standard extraction thing. Now, if you want to do exactly what I do, then you can do this. You're gonna take the beaker, and you're gonna set it. Well, actually, no, you're gonna put it, eh, maybe, well, no. Is that still reacting? Man, is that really something? gas? really going on but um whatever um then you're gonna take your 250 milliliter mil, milliliter bigger um and then again this is only if you want to do exactly what i do you take this <laughs> and this can of course be quite exhausting You can always get your little friend, so you can do this. Turn on the tap. 
wash out this syringe. And if you guys have watched this point, thank you. Oh, that is a reaction going on. We're gonna turn on the. We're gonna open that. That's gonna be doing that. Take this then. Your uh, or a cup. You're just gonna pour in everything you can. Just straight you from the pipe bed to that. I just find it easier to put it first into a beaker. Um. So, yeah, that's. What I like to do. Then here's where the tamper comes in useful. You're just gonna stir it. Make sure all the chunks are crushed. That's the only thing the tamper is useful. You're gonna take that. You're gonna take the stopper. You're gonna cap it, and now you've got this, which is your byproduct, which you can use as a solution for another experiment. So. Personally, I do test on these kinds of chemicals, but that's just me. So, yeah, this is Engineering Fuego. Bye. Please subscribe if you want to.